West Alabama, new live at five today, the Tuscaloosa Housing Authority cutting the ribbon on seven new homes in Springer Estates. Brian Henry joins us live at five with a life changing help for these first time home buyers. Brian, are we looking at more homes in that area? Well, Jonathan, Sarah, another 26 homes will be built according to the Tuscaloosa Housing Authority. Seven of them are already up now and ready for their occupants to call them homes. 5160 Springer Circle never sounded and looked so good for Sharon Dennis. To move into this house and have a beautiful housewarming party. A party Dennis plans to hold sometime this summer. For now, Dennis and a few other families are relishing something they never thought possible. They have achieved part of what many refer to as the American dream. I'm very happy to be a first time homeowner. A first time homeowner made possible through a program started long ago under American President Franklin D. Roosevelt. This was done as a way to provide financial assistance to state and cities for public works projects, slum clearing and removal for the and for the development of affordable housing. At one time, this was nothing more than an old hayfield, but not anymore. Future dreams are taking root. Putting these home ownership development. Tuscaloosa Housing Executive Director Chris Hall says this phase was about a $1.7 million project, a mix of city and federal funds. New homeowners such as Sharon Dennis will have a mortgage based on a formula. Their mortgage is based on how much they can afford to pay. And part of those requirements mean homeowners have to stay in their home 15 years. If they move before then, if they move prior to the 15 years, they have to pay a portion of the fund, the federal funds back. The ceremonial ribbon cutting made it official and the same for Sharon Dennis's dream, a homeowner for the very first time. <sighs> oh my God, it's like heaven on earth. In her eyes, a miracle. Sharon Dennis's home is three bedrooms and two baths. In Tuscaloosa, Brian Henry, WBRC Fox 6 News on your side.